What's up? What's up? Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming out. Before we get started, I just wanna say that. You know, we've done this now for three years and it means so much to us. At First We Feast that you guys line up and then fill the place up and come in with so much enthusiasm. So yeah, make some noise for yourselves. Make some noise for yourselves. And I know what you're thinking. I see the bald guy, I see the wings, I see the sauces, where's the guest? Well, anyone who's been with us since day one knows that some of our favorite interviews are with rap legends from Nori to Redman to Trick Daddy. And here at Complex Con, it made just as much sense to keep that proud tradition going. So our next guest, he's been in the game for more than 30 years, released two dozen studio albums over that time. He's the professor of slanguistics and of course, Earl Stevens Fine Wine. Everybody make some noise for E. 40. What's up, Ivan? What's up, my How man? You'll up? be on this side. I'll be on this side. What's happening with it? How the fuck y'all doing? <laughs> Are you ready to get started? See, this is a crack. All right, so this first one is the classic. Again, we'll start at the handle. That's cool. I'll dress that. Mm -hmm. So anyone who knows E-40 knows that you rep Yay Area to the fullest, especially when it comes to your Golden State Warriors and San Francisco 49ers. So on wing one, we have some questions for front row 40. Do you have a Draymond Green story you can share with us? Yeah, I got one last night. He, uh, I, was at, <laughs> I was at his house. He beat my ass. Beat my ass. And we played the, uh, best out of, uh, we, uh, the best out of seven, two series. And uh, he got me on both of them. The first one, he wiped me out. It was four to one. I'm like, man, damn, I'm rusty, man. I got to get back into this. Because I ain't played dominoes and hella moons and whatnot. So, because um, I've been, you know, I ain't had time to eat a fortune cookie. You feel me? So I've been hella busy. <laughs> Is there a celebrity fan you have the most fun sitting courtside with? Oh, it's one dude. Ah, oh, what's my guy? He sit right behind me. He a fool with it. I follow him on Instagram until I forgot his handle. <laughs> Zing, what's his handle, Zing? Why yeah, is he yeah. so much fun? Yeah, he'd be fired up. He'd be talking hella shit to all the motherfucking the rival teams and shit. Fuck you! And he, you know, so he'd be acting like he want to come down from the stands, you feel me? What's something that might surprise <laughs> people about your friend Marshawn Lynch? He like Hennessy. <laughs> he a cognac head. And also, too, you walk the parade route in these victory parades all the time. Ever seen anything crazy from the parade route? Hold on, let me take a swig of this Yeah, right yeah, here. that's the way to do it. The parade routes, it's just, you know, the energy, just the fans out there, you know, they fired up, you know, with a winning squad. You know, it's not a lot of violence or nothing. You know, we're knock on wood, but everybody just having, everybody in great spirits. All right, so this next one is the Humble House. Guajillo. It's good. You like that one? Mm -hmm. So far we're two for two, 40, huh? Mm-hmm. So you're the undisputed king of slang. You've even popularized and coined full-blown household catchphrases like Foshizi and pop your collar. Is there a phrase that holds a special place in your heart, either the way it rolls off the tongue or what it means to you? One of my favorite ones is slapping because everybody say, that's slap right there. You feel me? That's slap. That's slapping. You know what I mean? You like, did you get that song I sent you, bro? Yeah, slap, bro. You like that? Yeah. Which is a higher ranking title? Lieutenant Roasted Botch or Captain Save a Ho? <laughs> That's a good question right there. You like that? <laughs> well, you know which one wins. I, I'm not going to tell you the one. The one that sh it should be is Lieutenant Roasted Botch, far as, you know, the rules and regulations of the game. Okay. But due to the fact that the rules and regulations of the game has been changed, Captain Save a Ho is very notorious in this world. You feel me? <laughs> There's more Cap Save Holes than Lieutenant Roaster Botches, you feel me? <laughs> All right, so let's do a little slang free association. What I want to do is hit you with some words that are trending in hip hop right now, and you just tell me what you think. The first thing that comes to mind, okay? Drip. Drip. Jury. Savage. Uh, beastie. Clout. Uh, you understand me? A fixture. Skirt. Uh, Ski skirt. <laughs> All right, E-40, you ready to move on? Mm-hmm. All right, so this next one is the <laughs> Butterfly Bakery. Uh-oh. On to number three. 
Can never go wrong with onions. So you couldn't have Tastes you in good. the so you couldn't have you in the seat without talking about the patron saint of first we feast. I'm talking about your friend Guy Fieri. Mm -hmm. We see you sitting courtside with the donkey sauce god all the time. What can you tell us about your relationship with him? You know, me seeing him. I'm, I'm a fan. First of all, watching this, you know, watching him on TV, and then I got a chance to, you know, over the years see him at courtside and whatnot. And, and I mean, we became real close, good people. And in the same way that you've pioneered a lot of the enduring hip hop slang, he's done the same with kitchen lingo. Yeah. So what I want to do is hit you with some of the most iconic fietiisms of all time. And as a tenured professor in slanguistics, I'm just curious <laughs> what you think. Okay. <laughs> Put it on a flip flop. Put it on the flip flop. That's food that's so good you can eat it off of a flip flop. Oh, wake my game up. <laughs> wake my game up. Do you like that? I like that. That's it's fucking around. How about bomb.com? Bomb.com. That's normal speak. That's the bomb.com. Everybody know that one, right? Mm -hmm. Bomb.com. You know what I mean? Has he ever used Flavor Town in everyday conversation? I heard with you? him say Flavor Town. I heard him say Flavor Town a few times. Really? Yeah. Uh huh. And then what about. Hot Frisbee of Fun. Have you ever heard of Hot Frisbee Never of Fun? Never heard that one. That was deep. That was deep? So yeah. that is anything that is round and delicious, like pancakes or a burger. Oh, yeah. He go in. That's his kind of... He, 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 that's why they call him the guy. And I, I have one him. more for you. It's my favorite. That puts the Shamalama and Ding Dong. I ain't heard that one. <laughs> guy, I don't like that one, bruh. I'm going right. to talk to you about that one. <laughs> All righty, Forty, you ready to move on down the lineup? This one right here? Mm-hmm. I like mango all the time. Y'all should try my mango Moscato. It's available at Total Wine, Bev and all the time. <laughs> that shit hot, too. It's, it's starting to get there like a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to get there, yeah. for sure, for sure. I don't need this milk, though. I'm a, yeah, milk ain't good for black people. Get up here and get the bubble guts, get to bust the pattern up out this hole. <laughs> Where the bathroom at, man? <laughs> so you're a rare example of an MC that's been around to have songs with Tupac and then also be on Vince Staples' latest project. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious what you think about these hip hop flare ups that have been happening when like a young MC is interviewed and maybe they can't name a single Biggie or Pac song. Because on one hand, you seem to be very open to the changing times, but I know that there's a little sprinkle of grumpy veteran in you. <laughs> no, I ain't no sprinkle. <laughs> what makes you think that, brother? I, just what I see. Just what I see. <laughs> Not, nah, you know, I, you know, as I get older, I get wiser, you know. And I understand a lot of these casts was, you know, they just they they wasn't even born. They teens. A lot of them are teens and you know, in their, in their early twenties. You feel me? So you live and you learn. But I'm not knocking none of them. They're getting their money. I just tell them to try saving and just uh, you know get some side hustles and stay humble and uh, keep it pushing. Being here in Long Beach, I think it's important that we shout out Snoop Dogg. Who is Snoop Dogg? You never heard of Snoop Dogg? Never. <laughs> <laughs> nah. You, you know this my family. You That's because it's yeah. Snoopy. Come on. <laughs> Snoopy came, Snoopy then kicked it in Vallejo with us. You know, who you, what rappers you know come kick it at your house like and hang out for a few days, like, you feel me? <laughs> Snoop, Nate Dogg, R.P. Nate Dogg. Y'all remember Nate Dogg? Yeah. Come on, legendary. You know what I mean? Shout out to the dog pound, man. Yeah, so you know, nah, that's nothing but love. That's 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 like our family, you Snoopy and the dog pound and all them, man. You know what I mean? As someone whose career spans Tupac to Too Short, YG to Vince Staples, I think you're uniquely qualified to weigh in on this. What's your West Coast rap Mount Rushmore? Top four MCs to do it from this side. Oh, that's a tough one. Hmm. Hmm. Fix my, uh, my, my yays, my Cartier's, man. Of course, you know, I got to put the Fody water up in that motherfucker. <laughs> Spit too much game, man. E-40. Too Short. Ice Cube, and Snoop. There it is. Put it in stone. Put it in stone. E-40, you ready for the next wing? Yes, sir. So this is Los Calientes. Los Calientes. Liking that one. Yeah, I like that. That's fucking around. Thank you, E-40. Well, it's a shout out to Los Calientes. Shout out Los Calientes. Let's make some noise for Los Calientes. 
Thank you. All righty, 40, we have a recurring segment on our show called Explain That Gram, where we do a deep dive on our guest's Instagram, pull interesting pictures that need more context. So for you guys out here, maybe the picture will show up here or on these monitors on the wing. For you and me, E40, we can look here at one of these to see the pictures. Can we throw up the first pick? What is the first pick? You and Martha. Oh, shit. <laughs> she is, she, she's smooth, man. It's like... She be she be chilling, bruh. So this is at the Bottle Rock. Uh, Bottle Rock is a um, a festival in uh, Napa, California, uh, that they throw every year. It's big, big festival. Um, Martha had her little um, tent, so I said, oh, they say Martha Stewart in there. Go holler at her. I went in there. She had a little. Me and my wife went there. She had her daiquiris and whatnot. She was just hella, just smooth, just chilling. Like, hey, come have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> She's super cool. I, lo I love humble people. You feel me? She was super cool. You and Ye. You and Kanye. Powerhouse. That's where it was at. We was there. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a pic. I, but I met Kanye years ago. You feel me? Many moons ago. He, he uh, grew up on my music as well. You feel me? And um, it, was, it was beautiful because we, uh, during that time, um, me and Big Sean had a big record called I Don't Fuck With You. Maybe you've heard of it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I don't fuck with you, you little stupid ass bitch. <laughs> 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 and got, and um, when they first sent me, like I, I had got the record, I did my part, Sean did his. They said Kanye want to do do his parts to it, so he put the uh, the little sample to it at the beginning. Yeah, da, da, yeah, yeah. And I was like, this is my fucking genius. His music, you can't you can't knock what he do for us music, man. He's a super producer, man. You know what I mean? So he put that thing together like the weather. You know, he put it together like the weather. All right, one more, one more. Let's throw it up. You and The Rock, do you remember what oh, happened? Oh, The Rock. The Rock, boy. I grew up on watching his daddy. It was called Big Time Wrestling. It was, uh, his, his daddy name was Rocky Johnson. You feel me? Rocky Johnson was the best wrestler in the game. Him and Moondog Maine. <laughs> Just remember that name, Google Moondog Man when you can. He was Manny. <laughs> okay? This is a Caucasian dude. Hillbilly style, the whole Uwap. <laughs> he was with the shit. <laughs> okay? But uh, I chopped it up with him. at uh, That was at KML on Chewy Gomez show early in the morning. And he was like, yeah, man, I grew up on you, E-40, Sugar T, uh, you, Be Legit, Sugar T, D-Shot, The Click, the whole Uwap. You feel me? So he got Barry ties and whatnot. We just chopping it up, man. Dude, dude, super cool. And I wish he would run for president. You feel what I'm saying? I think he'd do it, man. The Rock. The Rock 2020. You heard it here first. Are you ready to move on, E40? What we finna do now? Now, we're gonna go with the Clark and Hopkins Assam. See, shit finna start getting hot. <laughs> I play too much. <laughs> this, this knocking too. Mm -hmm. It's got kind of a curry. I will tell you, it. I prepared myself for this a few minutes ago when I was eating them funyuns, the, the hot ones. <laughs> 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 I was like, let me set myself up, man. This shit good though, but it's hot though. You're, it yeah. is that motherfucker hot. Yeah, it's getting real over here. It's kicking in. So I want to take it back to when you were growing up on Magazine Street, coming up in Vallejo at an interesting time politically. You had the rise of the Black Panthers in Oakland. And I read an interesting story back in 2011. You and Snoop Dogg took Young Jeezy aside in between scenes for a music video and told him that he needs to use his voice to be a leader, not just a rapper. Do you remember that moment, what you guys talked about? Uh, I remember something like that. It, did, did Jeezy say that? Because if he said that, that's what we said. Because we, we owed it. <laughs> I got nothing but love for Jeezy. But, you know, that's some shit we, we, we you know, I, I chop real game when I'm amongst my, my, my rap partners and just everybody. I just try to keep it one thou while. And he's been doing that, too, you know. I like what uh, T.I. speaks out. It's a lot of them, man. A lot of cats really speak out and just, you know, speak their mind, tell the truth. And they're already famous, so they ain't really got to do it. But they just standing for something. You got to stand for something or you going to fall for anything. Well said, E-40. Are you ready to move on, my man? Let's wiggle. <laughs> so this next one is the fire water. Hold on. Let me fire take a swig water. of this wine right quick. Smart. That's smart. Ooh, this one hot. 
It wasn't hot, but it's good, but it's hot. Mm-hmm. It's hanging around, too. It won't leave. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bite of that. Mm-hmm. But if I was if it was late night munchies or something, I'm coming from a club. I Get fuck, into that. I fucked the motherfuckers up. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got the opportunity to talk a little bit during a panel that we just had. We got to talk about E40 and the Earl Stevens line of wine. And then on your track, Carlo Rossi, which dates way back 1993, you said, the key to set you free, so give it a try, but don't mistake it for Chablis unless, unless you're, you're already, already high. high. And I've never heard a rapper name check Chablis. I know that you say that you were drinking cheap wine at the time, but that's not a cheap wine. Were you paying attention to all these different styles? Um, what it was was uh, we would drink Rhine, Carlos Rossi Rhine. That's a, a white wine. And um, Chablis was like the more bland wine. Uh, the Rhine was more sweeter. So that's what we would drink. And it'd get us more toasted. We'd drink more. But the Chablis, like, oh, man, you didn't brought back Chablis. You tripping. Because it looked the same. But it's not. Trust and believe it's not. <laughs> Big taste difference. So when we send somebody to the store and they bring back Chablis, that's a party foul. They must do 20, 30 push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. You ready to move on, E-40? Yeah. All right. So this is the bomb. That shit hot. <laughs> I need some water for that hoe. <laughs> so your career. <laughs> Woo! There's motherfuckers out there that like hot uh, shit. I don't know. I've never met one. I've never Damn. met one. I've never met one. So your career, it's touched so many things outside of music. So on to bomb, let's focus on some E-40 Lucy's from your more than 30 years in the public eye. I got you, my man. Oh, my God. Did you ever get Ashton Kutcher back for that time that he framed you into breaking into that car on Punked? Yeah, he slicked me. I ain't seen that man in moons. How he doing? <laughs> I didn't get him back. I ain't got a chance. But when I run into him, I will. I'll figure something out. He got me, though. When I got punked, but you know that was a beautiful thing. Uh, at the time, damn, my tongue hot with that shit. That shit. <laughs> I'm, I don't know if the rest of them hot like that. Check in. If you can get on top of this, you can get on top of the rest. E40, find it, my man. Woo! <laughs> man, hold up. I drank hell of water and everything. Punked was a beautiful thing. Being on punk was a pleasure because it's like you know when you get punked, you somebody. If you could, you know, at that time, that's what it was about, being punk. You get, man, yeah, man, that, you know, 40 got punked the other day. He, he, he moved on up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you remember about playing Gathering of the Juggalos? That always seems like an interesting event oh, for Oh, man, artists. them Juggalos, man, they just come to have a great time. Shout out to the Juggalos. Whoop, whoop. That's their thing. Whoop, whoop. That was the shit, yeah. Shout out to Tech Nine, Strange Music, you feel me? It was a beautiful thing, and um, playing with the Juggalos is great because, you know, they just come to have a good time, and they one big unit. They just, they family, you know what I mean? And they do what they do. And one big community, they do their thing. Good people. I fuck with the Juggalos. Is the one investment you wish that you could have made into Tupac's idea for the Gangster Cafe? You and know for about those that? Who don't know, yeah, I know about that. And yeah, for those who don't know, yeah. can you explain that concept? Nah, that's what one, one thing uh, Pac was trying to do he had hit me. He said, Fawdy, man, look, you might want to get in on this. I'm doing, I want to do, you know how they got, uh, what is it, Planet Hollywood? Right, Planet Hollywood. He said, you know how they got Planet Hollywood? I want to do Gangster Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> he was serious as motherfucker, too. <laughs> that would be a beautiful thing, man. I wish he was still here. Exorcist code. Well, I got the Medusa head or whatever this is. Huh? <laughs> Can I call somebody to eat this? I, I... <laughs> E, E40, you're so close. You're so close, my man. Man, dude, I'm, my, I'm, my, I'm fucked up from this last one. I know, this, uh, I know. What's this shit, this last, who? <laughs> you sure, brother? Come on, come on. E40. Tag teaming in a fan. 
I'm gonna keep it real. I can't, I'm not doing it, man. Oh, that's really hot. Oh my God. How you doing, my man? What's your name? Hold on, let me get you some water. Here goes. You need some milk or water? What do you want to do? Water. water. He wants some water. water. Give him this whole motherfucker right here. <laughs> He's gonna need this bitch right here. He gonna need that. All right, hole. you gotta clean the wing. He gonna need that. I guarantee you, brother. So that's, that's the one. Right let me there. see you do it. I need to Instagram this shit. <laughs> hey, oh, hold on, hold on, player. Hold on, player. Hold on, Pippin. All right, let's get it going. Mm-hmm. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. It's going down. It's fuck going it up. Down. <laughs> he fucking it up. Oh shit. Boy, you from Louisiana somewhere? <laughs> now go ahead and drink that jug, cause I know you need that shit. Wow. Hey, let's hear it. Hey! <laughs> All right, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep that right there. <laughs> it looked like we got one more to go. We just have one more wing to go. This is the last dab. We call it the last dab because it's tradition around here to put a little extra on the last wing. Here it goes, E40, it's going down. It's going down, and what a ride it's been, my man. What a ride. But I'm not finna ride this ride right here. <laughs> I'm telling you, my shit's still fucked up from the last, the, the third one to the last. Before we close the book on Hot Ones, Complex Con, number three. And it's this, you know, E-40, you're a guy who's endured for more than 30 years, even as tastes and the economics of the music industry have changed, E-40, you always stay the same, it's tougher for young people these days to get a sense, a comfort in being themselves. And I'm curious, what is E40 The Counselor's best piece of advice for how you can get longevity in the entertainment industry rather than being somebody who's constantly chasing the next 15 minutes of clout? Right, it's the, the thing is, uh, you know, you gotta do what works for you. And even if you did uh, see what somebody else is doing that's winning, Try to put your own twist to it at least, you feel me? Drink some wine, man, and expand your mind in this shit. You feel what I'm talking about? All right, well, I hope that everyone was taking notes. And once again, I want to say thank you so much for coming out. Hot Ones Complex Con number three is in the books. Let's hear it one more time for E40. And yeah, one last yeah, time. Yeah. And one last time for yourselves. Thank you very much. We love y'all. Thank you. <laughs> love y'all. Thank you. Hey, what's going on, Spice Lords? I know you're wondering, why is he shaking that bottle? Why is he shaking that bottle? It's because I'm excited to announce that The Last Dab Redux is available now. The Last Dab with Chocolate Pepper X and Pepper X. You've seen your favorite celebrities dabbing wings on the show, and now you can dab your wings at home. Heatness.com, heatness.com to order. Who appreciates you, Spice Lords? Me.